Hey, hey everyone, welcome to Square State. I'm your host, Michelle Jackson, bringing you information, people, and products all made in Colorado each week. Today's episode's kind of recap. Just want to do some business related stuff, share some things, and then next week we will have an interview. So just a heads up. So, first, Join me this Wednesday at the Freelancers Spark Union Meetup. I will be speaking on why freelancers need to create digital products and focus on affiliate marketing so that they can diversify their business. I will include a link in the show notes and I'm really, really excited about it. In fact, actually, let me see if I can find where that is going to be. Um, I believe it's going to be, the last one was held, you know what, I'm not sure. I, I believe it's going to be at Green Spaces on Wednesday, but I will keep you posted. I'm not really quite sure. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we I will be talking about that, and I'm very, very excited. I think it's going to be a, fu a fun topic to cover, and hopefully really get people thinking about the power that they have with the information that they're selling. June. Okay, so we are in June and the best thing about summer in Denver is there's so much to do. There's so many cool things going on. This past weekend I went on a hike. I hiked Green Mountain which is like in Chautauqua Park. It was insane. My body still hurts because I'm out of shape. Highly recommend it do carry a bell. There were bear sightings on the path, so just heads up. I also got a chance to check out the Denver Chalk Art Festival. It was stunning. It, the, the quality of the art was absolutely stunning, and I would re recommend that you put that on your list for next year. Unfortunately, the Frugal Road to Wellness has been canceled. We all felt that perhaps this is the wrong time of year to bring this event to Denver. So we're looking to hopefully reschedule it. I'm thinking in the fall. So I will keep you posted on that as well. So the frugal road to wellness to financial wellness will not be happening this Saturday. So just FYI. And let's see. Also, I personally have decided to cancel this week's Denver Welcome Mat event for a similar reason to the Frugal event. I think that June's a little tricky for an event like that. So the other events that are scheduled for July through December, those are happening, no issue there. But for June, that, that event has been canceled. So the Denver Welcome Mat event that was supposed to happen this Thursday, I am canceling it, so it's just FYI as well. There are a ton of ways to get fit in Denver for free. Make sure you check out the Denver Civic Center Moves program. They have yoga and fitness classes, and um, I'm trying to lose 31 pounds this year, so that will be a huge part of me getting fit. A huge area where I'm focusing is going to those classes and they are hard. So it's not like an easy class. They're super hard. And I'm really excited about going, going to them. And I think you should too. I had an opportunity to check out the Happy City Denver installations uh, that they're doing around town. And the one that I've been really excited about was the giant like soap smiles like you know soap emojis and I saw the installation that they did at the Denver Art Museum this weekend this weekend was really great and it was just so cool so please do keep an eye out for that you can go to Facebook Happy City Denver to find where they will be uh, releasing those smiley faces they're doing it at a lot of libraries so it may be happening at a library close to you so I recommend it this month, a couple of events to be aware of. We've got the Pride Fest, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. I think, and that's a huge event here in Denver. We have Denver Comic Con. That is also huge. I, oh my God, Jason Malmoa is going to be there. And I just wonder if he smells like coconuts and man sweat. I mean, 
you know, all of you wonder it too, whatever, don't judge me. So if I've ever, I've, last year, I didn't know that you could purchase pictures with your favorite people, but I don't know if it would be appropriate for me to take, you know, like to get a picture with Jason, because honestly, I want to just cling to him like a limpet, like, like a, like a spider monkey or koala baby or just cling. So I, I, I think that I might have to hold off on that and just, just say no. <laughs> Yoga rocks the park. I went to that on Sunday. It was fabulous. I had a great time. I actually won something, won a beautiful bag and it's so cute. It was, it's a wonderful story. And I want to get in touch with the woman, uh, the women who run this business. It just beautiful bag. Um, and would like to talk about that as well. Went to the old South Pearl Street Farmer's Market, which continues to be my favorite farmer's market, as well as Union Station's Farmer's Market. Really like that one. That was a little more expensive in my opinion, but I like the energy of that market. When you go to the old South Pearl Street one, do know that there is a stall where you can get $10 all you can stuff into a bag of vegetables. So if you're on a budget and you're looking to get veggies and stuff, it's a great, great way to save. Heads up, they are not all locally grown vegetables, obviously, but still it's a lot of fun trying to see what you can do with one plastic bag that they provide you. So uh, 10 bucks, awesome. There's also a couple of incredible products coming out of that farmer's market or, or that I found at that farmer's market. There are probably at other ones as well. And I might just do an episode about cool things that I've just, in fact, I will do an episode about cool products discovered throughout the, the city that you guys should be supporting and um, checking out as well. One, I feel like is, one is incredible. And I, I think I've frightened the owners, but I love the product so much, even though it's something that I don't like. That's how much I love the product. So just so you know, I think that that is basically it for this week's episode. Super short, super easy. I hope you're having a beautiful June. It's way too hot, by the way, for this time of year. So make sure you're drinking water, staying hydrated and taking care of yourself. Thanks for listening. Subscribe, like, and um, just have a great day. Bye.